now then YouTube and Twitch. Also, welcome to back to some more Thorncraft and Britannia Unite. It is episode 11 today and uh, I've been busy guys. We're going to show you that in just a second. I would like to say thank you uh, to you guys for all of your comments that you've made over the last couple of episodes. I have been reading your comments and uh, I will certainly, certainly get to them. Buckwheat. Thank you. But I did find out what the issue was halfway through the recording, uh, episode number 10. And um, that's the issue. When you um, when you do kind of record in front of and ahead of time, uh, you do kind of miss th uh, suggestions that people make. And of course, the Gomorillis slipped by the wayside, and I just didn't know what the hell I was doing, guys. So let's be honest. It wasn't um, in Britannia when I last had it. It was simply just... I mean, the Gomorillis just ate things that you were given. So... Uh, kudos to uh, Vaz for adding that in to Britannia and confusing the hell out of me until I reread uh, the description of the flower and then realised you had to alternate uh, different foods going into it. So Buckwheat, thank you very much, but I did get there in the end. I figured it out. Um, also, you guys keep telling me to uh, make the... Uh, oh, not Googles. Goggles of revealing these things, guys. Um, I do believe... I think I can make these right now. Or I should be able to. I need two alchemical brass ingots, two thermometers, and four pieces of leather. Leather's not an issue. I think alchemical brass is currently uh, the issue that we're having, guys. Now, there is another thing that I've been doing. Oh, I've got some iron ingots, but that's not absolutely fantastic, guys. I have been busy, as I've said, in between episodes. And I really wanted to create something for you guys that will actually... Um, forward my episodes and you know make them move on a little bit quicker because what's been happening recently guys is I've been sitting down and doing episodes and unfortunately it, they just haven't been working greatly for me <laughs> so I have finally fixed the issue that we've got with our mana and uh, as you can see there is a secondary spawner up there that is constantly spawning pigs at the moment I have no ability um, and I haven't killed enough pigs to be able to turn that into a spawner with redstone control it is on my list of things to do in between episodes, guys. But look at this. We're actually getting a decent amount of mana. Why is that, guys? Because I fixed it all. That is why. If we go into the bottom here, there's a whole host of things going on. So, of course, these will turn off the spikes that are above here. And um, you can see, I've actually got leather that's being uh, forced down a hole. All the way down. In fact, I've got more than leather. I've got tallow as well in there because I don't need that much stuff. Um... Hopefully I can whiz past this without getting any tallow. There is some lava right the way down there. Um, and everything just gets voided that gets put into there. Voided, in other words, just shoving straight down and then, uh, you know, ending up in the uh, in the lava at the bottom. This is very, very, um, just, I don't, I don't know what the word I'm looking for. Simple, I suppose, is a good word. Rudimentary. It's a very, very simple mechanism that I've got here. Basically, the, uh, the redstone torch is constantly on. Uh, which means it doesn't let anything through the hopper uh, into the open crate and then onto the floor for the gomorillas to eat. So that is how we're doing this. I've got them roughly half and half. So that one fires in two seconds, that one fires two seconds, that one fires two seconds. It's roughly, that one's slightly quicker uh, than what this one is. It doesn't really matter. Both ends up doing exactly what I want them to do. Um, I had to actually... Oh, it's trying to connect. You can see it trying to connect over there. Uh, but the issue is, of course, we've got that little block there, so it can't do it. This redstone torch is controlling that one, which is, of course, controlling the beef going into it. This one is controlling the pork chops. We've got plenty of pork chops. Um, we've got a little bit of beef. Beef is the one that actually, at this current moment in time, is serviced by a redstone signal. It can be turned on and off, which is fantastic. So let's do that. Let's turn it on. Get a load of cows going. We've got so many cows going into this when we turn it on, guys. It's absolutely ridiculous. I don't know if I did that last episode, if I turned it into something that could do a, a redstone signal, but we've managed to be able to get it done anyway. It's going into night time, guys. Let's go to sleep really quickly. I really needed... Um, I really, really needed a good source of mana, and I'm sick to death of doing it on camera. So I did it off camera. I twizzled, pulled, poked around at uh, different bits and bobs of how to get this actually sorted and I've got it somewhat sorted guys you can see because of the 3x3 three three block there um, the water doesn't kind of do that but it really doesn't matter because every time something spawns it kind of does it eventually kicks them in there do you know what I mean we don't end up with a load of things all floating around doing absolutely nothing so 
Um, it works, and that's the main thing. So basically, it alternates dropping uh, a pork chop and dropping uh, raw beef. It's completely passive, and it keeps on going forever, guys. Eventually, I want them on a redstone timer. Both spawners on a red uh, a redstone timer get them, uh, you know, automatically spawning and automatically shutting off. I don't need to be around for them to spawn. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? All that sort of stuff. But this, the problem that we're having, guys, too much mana is coming through this. This is constantly full. This is constantly full. We are not managing to move the mana quick enough. That's the issue that we've got, which is a good problem to have. I will tell you guys right now. It's a good problem to have. Now, we need to remedy this. We need to remedy this solution. And to do that, I think it's time. Um, I think I put all my stuff, because I was messing around with different things, I put all my stuff into here. Um, is that my... Uh, this might be my Britannia one. It is my Britannia one, because there's the Wand of the Forest, guys. Let's go into the Lexic of Britannia. Because right now, it is time to get into something a little bit awesome. So, is it natural apparatus? I don't know if it is. I don't think it is. Open crate of truth. Right, okay. We can, we can, um, mana manipulation. It's probably in here. So, we can get mana spreaders. There's different mana spreaders. I'm hoping it, it can show us. There it is, look. Pulse mana spreader, mana spreader, a Gaia mana spreader, and an Elven mana spreader. We're after the, I think, Elven one, because the Gaia is a little bit too far for us at the moment. Let's put it in here. Mana spreader. So we've got four different types. A mana spreader is the normal one that we've got. Of course, the pulse mana spreader runs off the redstone pulse. Um, Elven mana spreader, and then the Gaia mana spreader. This is way too far. We haven't, we we can't get these Gaia spirits just yet. Elven mana spreaders is something that we can do. To get Dreamwood though, we need the Elven trade. We need this. We need the portal going on, guys. And that is what we're going to be working on uh, today. Elementium, again, that's a couple of mana steel in there and you get an Elementium out. We'll, we'll be working on this, guys, because that is something that we desperately do need to create all the mana in the world, which is going to be great. And it's all passive as well, which you can't complain about, guys. We could have it going into, like, a, a furnace and, and getting cooked pork chops and, and cooked uh, and steak and stuff like that, but I really don't see the need at the moment. I think that this is working fine. It doesn't, it doesn't use any mana um, and it just kills stuff. What, what, what more can be said, guys? What more can be said? So the Elven Portal is something that we have to do. And I can't remember how we set this up. So what I'm going to do, guys... Is it basics? Wonder the Forest, Terra Steel, Lexica Britannia, Lexicon Index. Maybe I can do this. So, Portal. The Portal to Alfheim. Here it is. said that once... Elves used to share the world with us Minecrafters. Due to unknown events, they would have banished them back to their own world, Alfheim. Experimentation has been done in an attempt to bridge the gap between the two worlds, a means of creating a portal that does just um, that does just that has been devised. Creating this portal proves not to be an easy task, as quite a few exquisite resources are necessary. The requirements are as follows. Eight living wood blocks, three glimmering living wood blocks, one elven gateway car, read on, and at least two mana pools and two nature apply, uh, pylons. We'll be getting into that. So the Elven Gateway uh, gateway Car creates uh, needs this Terra Steel. Terra Steel is something uh, entirely different. So let's have a look. Terra Steel actually requires Lapis and I think uh, Living Rock. So Lapis Lazuli Blocks and Living Rock. Mana needs to be provided to this block with Sparks being the most effective method. So this is something that we definitely do need to get into. Lapis Lazuli Blocks, we need a lot of runes as well, but that's not a problem now because we've got so much mana floating around uh, that it shouldn't be too hard to actually uh, create. So as you can see, we need five Living Rock, one underneath the Terra uh, Agglomeration Plate as well, and then four blocks of lapis along with that. We can visualize this. We can actually place it into the world. Look, right click any block to anchor this structure to uh, preview to it. It's going to need uh, uh, it's going to need sparks. So I think somewhere like that, we've anchored it now, guys. So you can see we need five of the living rock. That's not too hard to do. And then um, four of the lapis blocks, which might be a little bit difficult. Let's go and see how much lapis uh, we've actually got floating around. Oh no, we, we're probably alright guys. We are probably okay. 
Oh, it, it needs nine, doesn't it? Four lapis blocks. And I think we should have the living rock uh, readily available to us. So let's go out here. Let's create um, the basics, the frame of this guy. So let's whack this out. We will be using sparks, of course. That will definitely be on our list of things to do this episode. First and foremost, let's get this living rock down. So there's one. There is five of them. Uh, and then the lapis blocks as follows. And then the terra steel agglomeration plate. Agglomeration plate, here it is. We need three more blocks of lapis. A block of mana steel. Uh, that's an issue for us at the moment because iron is still an issue for us. Um, but it won't be for long because terra steel, guys... When we can make ourselves some terra steel, we will have an amazing uh, mining ability uh, with the terra steel. Now, we possibly could use an orchid with the amount of um, with the amount of mana that we've got in there. The orchid could quite be uh, a possibility now. So, why don't we try that out? Why don't we try that out, guys? Oh, we need pixie dust. That's why. So, yeah, um, terra steel probably still on the list of things to get done. Terra steel. Oh, it doesn't actually show us in there. It's very simple, guys. You just put it on there and then it does its stuff. So we need an agglomeration plate, this thing here. So we've got the lapis. The lapis is not a problem. The mana steel needs the iron. And, of course, we need the runes uh, to be able to finish this off. Now, I've got a few of these runes, but I will need to do all the rest of the runes. I'll do them off camera because pretty much they're easy to do. Um, they're just time-consuming, so I'll be right back. Alright guys, I should have everything to be able to create the agglomeration plate, so here it is. Three lapis blocks, one block of mana steel, and all, uh, well, every one of the uh, the base runes. Done and dusted. Now, unfortunately, we don't get the runes back. Bit of a shame. But we do have a few spare ones. I've got one spare rune of water, one spare fire, and one spare air. So hopefully, we should be alright. So the agglomeration plate, the terra steel uh, agglomeration plate, will get slapped on top of here. Bang! Structure complete. Lovely jubbly. It works. So what we basically have to do now, if we take a look at the book here and go back, um, Terra Steel. Here we go. Um, set it on top of a checkerboard pattern, blah, blah, blah. Mana needs to be provided to this block with sparks being the most effective method. We can't actually... I don't think we can do the sparks just yet because I was looking a little bit earlier and the master spark, this one, um, that supplies all the rest. I think this is how it works. Oh, that's the master corporeal spark. I think it's just a normal spark we need. We might be able to craft this, guys, actually. Rather than having to use um, thingies. Dispersive, dominant, recessive, isolated. Those are the different augments that you can have on there. Spark Tinkerer. What the heck is that? That's a new thing I've never seen before. So, a couple of blaze powder. One golden nugget. I don't think I've got the blaze powder, guys. This is the issue I always have uh, with this thing, guys. Blaze. Oh, my goodness gracious me. The blaze powder in this game is absolutely ridiculous for me, guys. Yeah, it is. God damn it. <laughs> So we will. I suppose we could do it a different way. So I'm going to bind this to that, so that that will create um, the uh, the ability to be able to make terra steel there. So we should be okay. All right, guys. We needed a mana pearl, a mana diamond, and a mana steel ingot. So we can shove these on top of here, and we should be fine. Should be ready and raring to go. And as you can see, we are ready and raring to go. These little sparks will pop up and eventually they will fly around, suck themselves into the middle. They'll turn gradually green and these things will uh, will all change into a terra steel ingot, which is exactly what we're after, guys. Cannot complain about that. So, let's just wait for this to sort its life out, guys. <laughs> it might take a while. I will be back. Guys... I've been waiting and waiting and waiting here, and I was I was led on, guys. <laughs> I was thinking to myself that these items were not meant to be like uh, despawnable, and they despawned right in front of my very eyeballs, guys. I got my stuff ready for the next part of what I wanted to do, but these just despawned in front of my very eyes. 
Oh. I'm disappointed. I thought when you chucked these on here, it, it protected them from uh, being despawned. Apparently not, guys. We're going to have to go into the nether. We're going to have to find ourselves some blaze rods and, uh, and make some sparks, because I'm definitely not having this happening again. Here I am at the killing floor, guys, and I'm surprised I haven't been killed um, yet. Usually, these guys like to troll me just a little bit. Oh. Oh, yeah, there's quite a lot of them spawning. Now, there's two ways, there's two places to kill them. So I just tend to do this quite a lot. Oh, and there we go. Good sound fire. Now, I've got two, as it is. Um, I actually, I, I keep forgetting to create, like, um, they shouldn't be able to get out of that room. I've, I've managed to... A lot of deaths happened, guys, when I was creating that. Quite a few. It was, it was quite a while ago now. So if we take a look um, and put Blaze Spawner onto here, that will be absolutely fine. So let's go now back to the portal. I think we have enough stuff to be able to create ourselves some more of, um, uh, of the Blaze Powder, which is exactly what we want for the Sparks. I think we might be... Oh, no, it's still daytime, which is pretty good. So let's go and create ourselves the blaze powder that we need uh, for our thing. Is there any ways, actually, uses? Is there any way of making these into more than just two at this current moment in time? We can make three if we add Pedito into that, but really I don't see the need. Um, I can make nether wall out of that, but no, it doesn't seem that that is a thing. So we've created two, we've created four because I need four, because we we will need two sparks, guys. So we need two of the blaze powders. It doesn't matter, really matter what sort of uh, flower uh, that we get. So we'll get two of these and two of them. We've got some gold somewhere in here. There we go. And that'll create ourselves. I do apologize if you can hear that outside there, guys. Uh, I have to have the window open. It's like 30 degrees in here, guys. Honestly, it's ridiculously uh, hot today. So we want one that is a dominant and a recessive. So we want one that has all of the stuff, um, and we want someone that has less of the stuff. It doesn't seem that that is the case, though, at the moment. I'm hoping... Oh, let's get in there. Oh, live drive. We've got a, an achievement there, guys. I'm hoping... Why did I just, like, bounce there? Did you see that? Oh, my lord. Why does it do this sometimes? I have no idea why, guys, but it keeps turning auto-jump back on. Which is a pain in my backside. Mm, I have to take a little drink there, guys. It literally is boiling today. In Britain, we're in the biggest heat wave I think I've ever known. As a, uh, you know, as a child... Oh, let's pop that on top of there. And let's pop that on top of there. Can we see if we can link... Can we link these two just the way that they are? Yes. Look at that. That's beautiful. Hopefully, then, we can link that back up to that... I don't know if this is going to work. Um, I put all the rest of the stuff back in my chest, actually. So I need one of you. Uh, one of you and one of you. We need to change these back into mana stuffs. So you, you, you. Brilliant. We should see this work a hell of a lot faster, I'm hoping. Oh my goodness gracious me, that's a lot faster, guys. That is so much faster. All my mana's gone. Are we serious right now? Are we serious that all my mana's gone? I thought I had enough mana for this, guys. It may be that I have to pick this back up and try again when we've got a little bit more mana. But we'll let a load of cows spawn first and see if it's the fact that we have just haven't spawned any cows for a while. Whilst I've been stood around doing nothing. It might be the fact that we've got no leather, no, no leather, no, um, uh, you know, no meat in there, no beef. That might be the problem. We've got some coming in, you can see it coming in slowly, but I think we need more than this. We've got five minutes until these de despawn, and I really do not want these to despawn. Not again. Please, not again. Do you know, it might be worth grabbing. Oh, look, we've got a new tree. It might be worth grabbing. This seems to be better than it was. I'm hoping. Come on. Not one single sapling was dropped. And this is what the problem is, guys. We're just not getting enough saplings being dropped by the system right here. Uh, so I'm going to take 
all of this. Don't worry. Items, we will be back. I promise you. They're still there. Good. We've got five minutes until they despawn. Let's create some blocks. Blocks of coal, guys. And, uh, and, and just supplement this system a little bit that we've got going on here. Those ender flames should... Oh, they are, I do believe. Yeah, there we go. So it's going to pile off into there now. We should see these slowly, slowly creating more for us. I'm hoping it's this. This is the bottleneck. Oh, it's taking forever, guys. I don't think we're going to do it. This takes so much mana. I didn't realise how much it took. It's been a long time, guys. I think what we're better off doing here is picking these items back up. I do not want to lose these. So we're going to pick them up. We're going to leave them. We're going to create a load more mana. And then we will be back when we've got enough mana to be able to make ourselves the first... We only need one piece of terra steel to be able to create our parcel. And that is what we need. Because then I can get the orchid. The orchid is the biggest thing for me. I really need the orchid. I need gold. I need iron. And I'm tired of mining. I can create three pieces of terra steel. Make a big massive pick with this. But the issue is that I don't want to mine. I just want the orchid around here doing its business. And uh, we should be absolutely fine. So we're creating mana here. I'm going to wait until we've got loads of mana, guys. Um, and we're going to come back and get the terra steel moving. Right, it's been about 6,000 years. <laughs> like, literally, it's been forever, guys. This is still running. This is still going every now and then. I go ahead and turn that on. Uh, the cows, uh, the, sorry, the um, pigs still going strong. Every now and then, I come along and do that with the cows. So, we have got a good size mana pool right there, guys. We should have enough to be able to uh, get ourselves the one. Have I missed? I have. Look, I've missed it a little bit, guys. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, you know. Why? Just why? Right, we should have enough. Oh, it's using a ridiculous amount of mana. Keep it, lads. Oh my lord, that is using so much mana. Oh, it's just short. It's just short of doing it, guys. It's just short. That's nearly half a mana pool that that has drained right there. It's literally just short of doing it. It's so close. It's so close, guys. We should have enough mana coming through. We'll be able to see over here. Oh, we've had literally no tree growth. Are you having some form of life? Right, I'll leave one in there. So I've always got one to uh, do this with. I can't believe that. We're so close. And I've waited for so long. Come on now, Ender Flames. You can push this over. You can do this. Full faith. We should have enough. I think we should have enough. It's going to take a while, guys. It's going to take a while for it to gradually creep into the centre there. It literally only needs to go in and that's it. It's done. Well, guys, within the amount of time it took me to go to the toilet, there we go. <laughs> Some Terra Steel. Lovely jubbly. So this will actually turn us into uh, Terra Steel Nuggets, which is exactly what we need to go forwards. So, Terra... Oh, wait. Wait a moment, guys. I need Glimmering. Glimmering Living Wood. I need three of these. So I should have. If I don't have, I should have really been creating these. I've got three. Uh, now, three will do, I suppose. We've definitely got the Glowstone to be able to do this. So if we put the Living Wood and the Glowstone, we've got three Glimmering Living Wood. And that's exactly... Uh, what we need. We need more living wood to be able to make the damn thing and of course we need the elven gateway core which is here. We need living wood to be able to do that actual full-on living wood. Uh, we've got living wood planks but I don't think we've got 
anymore. Which is a shame. It means I'm going to have to wait around for some more wood to actually be created. Or I'll probably just go ahead and start harvesting some trees. I'll be right back, guys. Alright, I've visualised this thing. I've visualised it. It's here. Right, we need to... I do believe it is living wood. Not actual living planks or anything like that. I do believe it is actual living wood. Um, so one of the eight living wood blocks. So it is eight living wood blocks. Let's pop that there, there, and there. The glimmering living wood needs to go there and there. More living wood on top of here and here. Um, now, the issue with this is I need a little bit of dirt. One to get up there, one to go on top of that, and one to just slap onto there like that. Um, I need to grab some more off there. Do exactly the same as I did. Oh, hold on a second. I've got that in the wrong place right there, guys. We need some living wood there, glimmering living wood, that there. And we need an elven gateway core. And uh, the issue with that is, of course, this terra steel nuggets right here. We need to do that and then that. And we've got an elven gateway core. That's exactly what we needed the terra steel for. Um, and that should be that. I think that's pretty much there, guys. We just need to put that into there. Structure is now complete. It isn't receiving any uh, mana, of course, uh, but that's not an issue at this moment in time. What it does need, however, is... Oh, look at this. And at least two mana pools and two nature uh, pylons. That's these things. We need two mana pylons. Um, so we need six terra steel nuggets. I believe we've got enough. Yes, we do. Brilliant. I'm wondering if I've got enough in the ways of other materials. So, mana pylons. I do believe we've got enough. So, it's mana damage. Oh, gold, guys. Gold's the issue. All right, guys. A tiny little bit of mining later. I've gone ahead and poked around over here and poked around um, all down in my strip mine, as you can probably see. There's been a few pockets where there's been some sort of gold um, in here, and I do believe this was a little bit of gold as well. So I have managed to poke around and found a little bit of gold, guys. I found a little bit of iron as well. So let's get that up and get that smelted. And here we go, guys. We've got some gold ingots. Now, that should be enough to be able to do this. We've got some mana steel as well. I believe, believe we've got a little bit. Oh, I've only got two. I swear I had more than that. Let me just have a quick gander over in this chest over here, because I do tend to shove it. There we go. Look at this, guys. So we need four of these. Lovely. That is uh, working for us. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves a couple of these mana pylons, then. We're just missing a couple of um, mana diamonds, which I do believe I put one in here. Okay, so that means I need to grab one out of my top chest. I do have some diamonds, not many, but of course the orchid will change all that when I do manage to be able to grab myself the orchid. It will be as soon as this is finished, of course. So let me grab, go inside here and uh, grab ourselves a couple of these mana pylons. So I need nature pylons, was it? Yes, it was. Uh, three of these, and I do have a couple of, uh, of ender eyes. I should have them inside here. I've got all of my ender eyes. There we go. I say ender eyes, ender pearls. I've got all of them in there. I've only got one left now. That's one of the issues uh, that we do have. Oh, you know what I'm missing, guys? Blaze powder. I used it all in the spikes. I'm, uh, spikes. The uh, sparks. I'm gonna have to go back to the Nether. Ah! I didn't actually realise I was on peaceful slightly. Then, guys, I did turn it to peaceful when I was just waiting uh, for the uh, mana to uh, spawn. Well, I say mana to spawn, but you know what I mean. The, the mana to fill up. I just left it AFK. I went AFK. I kept back. I forgot I left it on peaceful. So we are now back. I've got one single blaze rod. I've got something trying to kill me, guys. This is terrible news. Oh, how did he get me around the corner like that? Oh, no. We need to move. Woo! Okay, let's go back. We've got one blaze rod. That will be enough to be able to do everything I need to do for this particular episode. Of course, I only need two of the, uh, the blaze, the ender eyes, should I say. Two should be more than enough. So let's do that. Two of them. Two ender eyes. Nature of pylon. I should have enough to make two of those. I do. Now, living rock is something I might be. I oh, I took my. I took this up as well uh, because I don't need. 
I don't need all that right there at this moment in time. So, oh, I do. I need to uh, cook some more up. I've got eight here. It's not going to be enough, I don't think. I've got five. Oh, no, that's, that's light grey wool. That will not do. I need to grab some cobblestone. I need to grab some um, charcoal. That's the one. Let's pop that in there. Put one in there. Get two. Two of these smelting up some cobblestone into actual stone that we can get some living rock with. So let me pop that into there. Let's pop that into there and that will grab us some living rock. I should be able to have enough here to be able to craft one. So there's a mana pool. I need one single uh, more mana pool. I can't break that down back into uh, living rock, which is a shame. So I need... I wonder if I've got any in this box over here. I don't think I have. I can give it a try. I don't have. That's annoying. I don't have any in there. I'm going to have to wait, guys, and then uh, surround one of these pure daisies with it and go and grab myself uh, some more of this living rock. I only need another two pieces of living rock, guys. So, actually, I do have enough at this moment. Let's go and... Why am I not running? I don't know. Let's pop that there. Now, that should be able to grab us another couple of them. That's going to take a minute to be able to do that. I'm going to grab myself some raw beef as well because I'm actually dying at this moment in time. I want to feed myself back up and have a load more hearts because I don't want to die, guys. I don't know about you, but uh, in Minecraft I do tend to try uh, to survive as long as I can. Oh, let's get another one in there. I could get steak, of course, but I'm... This... I need that portal. <laughs> I really, really need that portal, guys, to be able to go ahead and uh, and craft myself the stuff. To be able to just get a lot of coal, get a lot of iron, get a lot of gold, diamonds, all that sort of stuff using mana. And that's the main thing that we're, we're, that we're working on here, guys. Um, I should have enough left in my pickaxe here to be able to do this. So Let's eat a couple of apples that I did from harvesting a couple of them trees. Shouldn't be too much longer left on this. There we go, look. Wonderful. That is more than enough now to be able to craft ourselves yet another mana pool. Wonderful. And then, of course, the Natura pylons go on top of the mana pools, I do believe. So it's something that looks a little bit like this. I could be completely wrong here, guys, but I'm pretty sure that this is how it works. Now, I need a lot of mana to be able to do this. Again, I'm going to have to sit here and wait because there's nowhere near enough mana inside that. Um, I don't think I'm creating it at a fast enough rate either. I've got a mana tablet kicking around somewhere. I might have enough in my mana tablet. We could use sparks, I suppose. But I need to go back into the nether to be able to do that. Oh, I've got a spare mana pool here. I didn't need to actually do that. That is such a shame. I wonder if I've got it in my bag. Oops. No, it's not in... Where is my mana tablet? I definitely have one. As you can see there, I turned it back into normal, guys. Um, I definitely... There it is, look. Mana tablet. Now, to be able to change this into something that will give me something, I need to right shift right-click that. Put that on top of there. Oh, it must, be, must have been set like that normally anyway. Right, it's going into my mana tablet now. Fantastic. Only a little bit there. Right, I need it to go from the tablet into that, so that's fine. No. There we go. We'll give it all of what we've got at this moment in time. Wait till them blue sparks disappear. Which is now. And uh, we'll leave that like that. So, the basics uh, that we need from this particular portal right here, guys, is... I believe it was pixie dust, was it? To be able to craft ourselves the orchid. That's the biggest thing I want to be able to craft myself, guys. And it is pixie dust. All the rest we can grab ourselves. Greed and pride runes is fantastic. So we need a mana pearl into uh, into there, which is not too bad. I've got one spare mana pearl uh, left for us. Have we got enough? Oh, we've got not got enough in there, guys. It's going to take us a while. And a while it took, guys. It's a brand new day. Uh, the actual, like, living real world day. It's a brand new day, guys. I filled up with what I could. Now, I think that is enough to be able to uh, to set this portal off, chuck my mana pearl through there, and get my pixie dust. That is what I'm after right now, guys. That's the only thing I'm after out of here right now. 
In fact, we could probably do with some dream wood as well. Um, just having a look at the um, spreader, the mana spreader, these things. Um, I'm going to need actual dream wood, so it may be a good idea. Oh, I forgot. I forgot to do this. Um, it may be a good idea just to ch uh, chuck a load through there um, and get a couple of these Dreamwood Manor Spreaders whilst I can as well. Remember, it does take... Um, is that all I've got? It does take a long time. Oh, what am I on about? No, it doesn't take a long time at all. Uh, it does take a little bit of mana to keep that thing open. So we, once we put it open, we want to get everything through there that we can possibly get through there to uh, to get back uh, at us that we can use. And we could certainly use a couple of Dreamwood mana spreaders, guys, because these things... I need Elementium as well. Okay, mana steel. Don't know if I've got... Oh, no, I do. So I need... That makes one of them. So I need four altogether. I should have a little bit left. Lovely. Um, so we'll chuck four of them through. We'll chuck one of them through to get my pixie dust. And then we will chuck um, some of the living wood through as well. So once we've got that, we should be able to make two elven mana spreaders. And they will help shift um, the backlog of mana that we have. Because this creates a lot of mana. Too much for mana for this, uh, for this mana spreader. Now I've actually gone ahead and created this in my creative world. And, uh, and found that even the elven mana spreaders cannot keep up to this. The Gaia mana spreaders um, do, kind of, I think, if I remember correctly. It was yesterday that I did all this testing work, guys. Um, I was all minecrafted out yesterday. Literally, I've been sat there for the, for the vast majority of the day, ready and recording and stuff like that, because waiting for this mana, though, is absolutely killing me. We need a proper mana farm, and um, I'm working on golems um, and you know a, a proper tree farm unlike that one over there which is it's just neither use nor ornament at the moment which is a shame so I think we're ready guys we've got everything that we need that's gonna get what we need that's gonna get what we need and that's gonna get what we need let's go ahead and uh, and get this open so yes that does actually create quite a lot of um, it takes a lot of mana does that so let's whack that through get the dream wood through Get that through, get that through, and now we have what we need. So, as you can see, it actually takes a little bit of mana just to keep it open. Um, but we've got everything that we need now. Pixie dust and stuff like that. What I'm going to do, guys, is I'm just going to go ahead and break this na nature of pile on here. Hopefully, oh, it doesn't. I was hoping that that um, shut the portal off. Can I just right-click that again? I can't. Okay. Can I get rid of you? Yes, I can. Okay, so... Because I'm not going to be using it again for a while, and I don't want to just let it go. So, we'll just go ahead and shut that off, and that'll be fine. So, the next thing that we need to do, guys, are them Dreamwood Mana Spreaders. We really need those Dreamwood Mana Spreaders. There is no doubt about it, guys. So, let's crack that open, get a couple of these done, and, um, and replace the Mana Spreaders that we have with these in our inventories. I am quite happy about this. You would not believe, honestly guys, how long it has taken to be able to do this. So, all right, let's get you on there. Let's pick you back up. So if we take a look, you can see it's quite quite clearly uh, catching up and, and keeping up with that. But of course we haven't changed the other one just yet. So let's go down. Have I left the cow thing on? Yes, I think I've left the cow thing on, guys. Um, let's go ahead and change this for a Dreamwood Mana Spreader as well. Go ahead and... Oh! We need three of them. Are you kidding me? Right, you see what I mean? It's not actually... It's full. It's literally full of mana. I think, looking at this, it should be able to shift it along faster. It is shifting it along faster, that's good. We might be able to get some sort of potency lens or something um, that we can stick on front of the uh, on the spreaders there, uh, just to make it move a little bit faster. I don't know if... I'm pretty sure that it works like that, but uh, we are getting quite a bit of mana now. Let's go ahead and turn this cow thing off, because literally we've got tons and tons of cows. It's absolutely ridiculous. Next thing on the list then, guys, um, is using our pixie dust, and that is, of course, to make the orchid. And the orchid is going to be massive for us. We need a rune of greed and we need a rune of pride. So we need water and spring of which we've got. We haven't got any of these guys. We have not got any of, uh, of these. I think we've got, yeah, we've got the, the basic ones. We've got a one of rune, uh, one of water, should I say. 
but we haven't got one of spring, which requires one of water and fire. Uh, and then we need a pride, which is a fire and summer. We've got the fire one, of course, but we haven't got the summer. It's going to take a little while. What's that? Orchid Ignum. Oh, yeah, that's the one that does the um, uh, the nether rack. Is it? Is it? I think. I think it is. Right, let me get all this stuff together then, guys, and uh, I will be right back. Well, I stood there for ages, scratching my head, wondering what I was doing wrong. I put it all onto there, and I was wondering, well, why is it not starting? It's just not doing anything. Why is it not doing anything? And that's because the orchid is actually a petal apothecary recipe, and I uh, completely forgot. So, oh, it's, it's already full. Nice. So, we need to go ahead and whack... Oh, no, that's not the seeds. We don't need the seeds in until last. Christopher. Right, we've got both in there. We have got both in there. That's good. So let's put everything we need into here. Oh, guys, I cannot wait for this. This is going to make my life so much easier. Are we ready? There we go. We have our orchid, which is absolutely fantastic. If we look in here, we've got ourselves some stone. Um, <clears throat> now, eventually, with our tree farm over here, we might actually, there's still nothing that's been done there. Um, we'll leave one in there so that it's got something to go ahead and burn. That tree farm is really, really slow, guys. It's really slow. So, I'll show you how this works. Then, basically, if I put this down, it will use this as uh, the primary source. So, we're going to go ahead and do that. So, we'll put that there. We'll just have to take a quick look. So, yes, it is using that. And if we put this down... I think... It's using the blocks underneath. Right, stop this. Stop this now. Stop this nonsense right now. I don't know where it's put them to. <laughs> It'd be under the floor somewhere. Um, now, in here will be my diamond... Oh, my shovel has uh, unbreaking on it. Not anything else. That's disappointing. God damn it. Right, we're gonna we, we're gonna have to change this a little bit, of course, because any smooth stone that's in the general vicinity, um, it will go ahead and change that into ores. And the problem is, we're we're on the ground, so that is an actual issue for us, guys. That is an issue. Can you get a floating orchid? You can get a floating orchid. It might not be a bad idea to make it floating, so that I can do it in the air. Does that make sense? I think it makes sense to me, guys. So we need a pasture seed, dirt, and any sort of glimmering flower. Um, it should be really easy to go ahead and craft, actually. I don't know. I'm going to say I don't think I've got any flowers in here. I put them all in my uh, in my thing. Where's my thing? Is it in here? There it is. Look, guys, the flower pouch. Uh, we'll go ahead and use the blue one. It makes sense to. Uh, to use that. We'll put that back in our backpack actually because it's mainly uh, that sort of stuff that needs using. We've got a couple of pieces of glowstone in here as well. Where are you? There you are. Lovely. We'll make you into a glimmering one. Brilliant. You work fantastically. We need a piece of dirt. Well, how do we make a pasture seed again? Piece of grass in, uh, in there. Okay. So we need our shears, or a piece of grass if we've got one floating around. I think I might find my shears first. I have. Let's go and grab a piece of grass. Now, interestingly enough, I was wondering why this was not giving me sugarcane. And it's because, look, it harvests it and gets chucked on the floor. <laughs> there's no um, there's no hopper hock here picking anything up, so we're going to have to... We must have nicked it at some stage for something or another. Um, so we'll have to sort that out at some point. Right, that actually creates that, so we don't want that. Right, let's get rid of you for a second. We can automate this pretty easy with the sticky piston, guys. Uh, this alchemy catalyst, without having to, um, you know, constantly drag it out all the time. We can do it with a sticky piston, but I'll get there. I will get there, guys. I promise you, guys. I promise you I will. So we've got the orchid. Um, that's lovely. We've got the pasture seed, the glimmering flower. We just need one piece of dirt, which is right here. And that'll get us the floating flower, along with the orchid, will give us the floating orchid. And again, like I said, the reason why we want to do that, guys, is very, very simple. And that is to hover it in the air 
so that it only changes the blocks that we want it to change. Um, we want it still near there, so I don't know what the sort of range of this is. Let's go with that as the range. Right, and we're going to go ahead and change this right here. I can't hear anything changing. Like, it, it's it's definitely... Let's link it to the right one to make sure it's been linked to that. It is. I can't hear anything changing, guys, so... There we go. There's some coal. Lovely. I want some coal, actually. And there we go. Oh, that uses a lot of mana. <laughs> that uses a ton of mana there. But, I mean, guys, we've got ores. We have access to ores now. A little bit of coal in there, guys. We want fortune on us, pickaxe, maybe. That might be a good, uh, a good thing to get. We have ores without having to go mine for them. That is something to celebrate. That is for sure. Something to celebrate. And we'll be, be beginning to get some more coal, which is good. There's loads of coal down in the mine, guys. It's just a pain in the backside having to do it. The next pro uh, issue that we do have is creating enough mana, number one. Because we're certainly not creating anywhere near enough mana to be able to keep this uh, going. Uh, number two is the smooth stone generation around there. We won't be able to uh, get our smooth stone and have it uh, automatically be placed around the orchid. Um, which... We can easily do, actually. You know, a lot easy, uh, a lot more easier than what you would, uh, what we would think. So we can do that. That is definitely something that we do want to do. Um, I'm just trying to think. <clears throat> I think that we'll leave it like that for the moment, guys, because it's taken me so long to be able to do this episode because of the amount of mana that we've had to amass first uh, before we can do anything. But now we have access to that place, we can go ahead and make what I want to make for this, which is a force relay. And for a force relay, guys, we need... Um, not a force relay. There is there is something. Is, is, is it the bar lens? Or is it the warp? It might be the warp lens. Yes, it's the warp lens. It's the pixie dust. So we need some more mana pearls uh, put through there and to get some more pixie dust. Because we need the warp lens. To be able to make this um, exactly how I want to be able to make it, I really need that force relay, uh, the, the force relay, the bar warp lens, or the warp bar. I can't remember which way around it is. I'll have to test it out in my test world. Or we might just skip this entire thing entirely and go for the golem tree farm that I've got in my creative world. Let's go out of my creative world, uh, out of this world actually, and go into the uh, and go into the creative one so I can show you what I mean. I had a problem though uh, with the fact that the Ranan Carpus actually picks up within a four x four radius of itself. Um, this is what I'm talking about, guys. This tree farm. The only issue that we've got here is uh, the saplings. The saplings, if they drop too far away, uh, they wouldn't get picked up by the random carpus. So that's why I've got this whole set up on the top here. We've got this, uh, the hopper hock, um, next to this, which unfortunately, the item frame keeps breaking. I'm wondering if I can put it onto the top here. Yes, I can. That's good. Will that actually pick up the <laughs> pick up that stuff? I don't know if that will work or not. The guy with the uni wheel is there, ready and waiting, look. And what happens here, guys, is uh, the tree can grow. Now, if the if the grass block grows into the item frame, it pops the item frame off, which is extremely annoying. I think the only way of doing that, actually, would not be to do something like that, but would be to probably put it onto that side. I think I fixed it, guys, because <laughs> it's not going to grow into that block, of course, because the hopper hock's there. So that's going to fix that issue. Uh, the only other issue is these don't actually grow because this is all in the way. Um, but it does create quite a bit of wood, as you can probably see. Now, from that point, we can go ahead and put it into an infernal furnace, make some charcoal, get it, fl get it floated around the place with some golems. But the way that golems are nowadays... Uh, they've changed. I wanted to um, get rid of the, the whole of this um, and then have golems just completely run the farm. But I can't seem to figure it out. They, the, the golems have changed. There is a way of doing it, guys, and I, I will go ahead and, and mess around with that a little bit further. But, yeah, the Ranancarpus only picks up in a 4x4 range. Uh, 
in a four by four range. So there is the furthest that the Ranicarpus will pick it up, and then pick it up and plant it. Of course, out here the Ranicarpus doesn't pick it up. The hopper hawk does, and that's what I've got this little setup here. The the main issue is if you've got so many um, saplings at once. Did that work? Yeah, it did. Um, then they all drop. And because they all gather in like a, a little blob down there, every time another sapling goes in, it's as if um, the stack has been refreshed, giving it a lot more time for the hopper hawk to pick it back up and put it back up here. Watch this. Did you hear that? It planted one and then put the rest of the saplings into here. That's not exactly what we we're after, but it works nonetheless. Um, so that's not too much of an issue. We can deal with that. And then eventually this whole tree farm will end up being an actual tree farm and there'll be plenty of, um, of saplings to go around, shall we say. There certainly will be. It's looking good. It's looking all right. It creates a ton of wood for me and the ton of wood will then be creating charcoal, which will then be creating um, charcoal blocks, of course, and they will be given to the ender flames and uh, and that will be a, a good little tree farm there and a good mana farm to supplement what we are already creating um, with mana with our other system that we've got over on the other world. But I do hope you've enjoyed this episode, guys. If you have, please go ahead and, uh, and leave a like if you're watching on YouTube. Don't forget to leave a comment if you are watching on Twitch. I'm usually around for these streams. And um, yeah, it's nice to speak to you guys when I am around. So brilliant. I will be... Before you guys switch off and go somewhere else, I will be um, changing things up a little bit in the future. Not quite yet, because I'm not at the stage of which... Um, I, I don't know what's going on yet um, with uh, regards to the job that I've currently got. I don't know what's going on yet. My hours will be changing at some point soon. So I'm not sure what time I've got free, what I haven't got free, and all that sort of stuff. I need to figure all that out. But I will be changing up the schedule sort of slightly. Uh, the TCMB that will always be on a Thursday, that will always be live streamed, it will always be 8 o'clock at night. But I would like to start doing the Full Craft 3 as an actual live stream. Like I sit there and I live stream to you guys. Um, and that's what I want to do with uh, with Foolcraft. I think that you guys can help me out absolutely massively uh, when it comes to Foolcraft 3. It would be great. And also to start engaging with you guys again. You know, one one to uh, however many people are on the stream, of course. Um, and and live uh, engaging live with you guys whilst I'm playing the game. Uh, because it does lend itself to doing such a thing. But anyway, guys, um, as I've said, I do hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please go ahead and leave a like, and I'll see you guys for the next episode. Until then, I've been Tough Man as always. Stay safe.